So now we're nice and set up in our 40 yard dash stance. So now let's talk about the first step. The first thing we're going to talk about in the first step is foot clearance. Okay. What we want to do is make sure that foot clearance is low. So all that means is that as my back foot is coming through, the toe should come no higher than the opposite ankle, right? This is going to make sure that we're driving out as opposed to driving straight up. So now let's look at our body angle. Uh, our body angle is going to be at about 45 degrees relative to the ground. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that more advanced athletes or sh and stronger athletes may have a lower body angle, while some weaker, less advanced athletes may have a higher body angle. Okay, but again, what we're generally looking for is a 45 degree angle. The shin angle should be parallel. All right, so parallel shin angles is going to set us up to apply force back and down. Okay, and that's illustrated with the uh, red arrow here. Now, applying force back and down is going to set us up to sort of have good, efficient push so that we can drive our center of mass forward and cover ground efficiently. So as illustrated on the right here, a common mistake is reaching out to try to cover more ground, right? This is something that we want to avoid because it's going to make your foot land out in front of you and it's going to create too much braking force. Remember, we're trying to come from a standstill and, try, and trying to get our body moving as fast as possible, as quick as possible. We want to try to eliminate as much braking force as possible. So notice here that the athlete on the left, his foot landed more underneath his hip to create more of a propulsive or forward force, right? Where the athlete on the right, his foot landed more out in front of him, creating that braking force that we were talking about. Um, so just looking at these two pictures, the athlete on the left is set up uh, for better uh, efficient acceleration. Okay, so a little more in the first step. The knee drive is going to be at about 90 degrees, and this will ensure that we have enough space and time to strike underneath our hips. On our front foot, our toe should be pointed straight up, all right? This is going to create a pre-stretch on the Achilles and calf and give us more springiness, right, when our foot strikes the ground. Super important. The head and eyes should be down, and you can sort of see this blue line. It's sort of at an angle, all right? So you don't want to be looking straight down. You definitely don't want to be looking straight ahead. You want to look right uh, somewhere in the middle. Now, remember, wherever our eyes go, our body will follow. So by keeping our head and eyes down, we're going to keep ourselves from popping up. Okay, our arms, all right? You want to throw your arms back and have a strong backswing to propel your body forward, all right? Again, you want to be big and violent with the arms. The front arm may have a little bit of bend in it, but that back arm should be big and violent. So to recap, we want to have low foot clearance, all right? We want our body angle to be at about 45 degrees relative to the ground. Our shin angles should be parallel. Our knee drive should be 90 degrees. Our front foot toe should be up. Our head and eyes should be down, and our arms should be big and violent.